Yes, um, it's still early. I wouldn't want us to engage in a long discussion. So I'm going to cut this meeting short so you can go. Let me attend to my business. I will appreciate that, ma. Your friend, my son, has taken a decision never to get married. Rather, he intend to employ women to get pregnant and bear children for him. That sounds so funny. No man does that. But he has chosen to do that. And I'm sure you're not aware. Honestly, I, I'm not aware of such decision. I know. That's why I brought you in. So you can go talk some sense into him. Make him see the advantage of having woman in a home. I, I will talk to him and um, I believe he will reconsider. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Do you care for anything? Uh, no, no, I don't care for anything. I, I'll be on my way now. Be, well, thank you very much. All right, ma. Yeah. Thank you, ma. Okay. Who else? Is there any other person he listens to I can call? Um, who? <laughs> My darling, I can't wait to see him. I really can't. Of course you will meet him. But girlfriend, I really think you need some orientation. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. But well, what's taking your husband? He's taking so Calm long. Calm down. I'm eager to. He will soon be back. Calm down. Okay. Huh? I'm waiting just. Oh, he's back. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, darling. Hi, <laughs> Good afternoon, there. Welcome. Mm. Sorry for keeping you girls waiting for so long. Uh, no problem. Okay. Ah. Yeah, honey, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, I, I called for this meeting. Humphrey has been my very good friend. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we'll be friends for a couple of years. So to a reasonable extent, I can tell you his likes and his dislikes, okay? One thing he hates so much is pretense mm -hmm. and fake life. And now you're about getting involved with him, I will advise you to try as much as you could to erase anything that has to do with pretense when you're with him. Be 100% transparent when you're with him. But do you understand? Yes, I do. And in addition, you have to look very beautiful and presentable. <clears throat> Annie, trust me. You know, I know how to package myself, so you have nothing to worry about. Oh. Come on. Okay. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Honey, <laughs> yes, I'm inside. Okay. I'll join you later, okay? Nice one. All right. Mm -hmm. So, my dear, I'm serious. You have to drop fake life. Go okay? On. Don't you go down and keep the hands like this. Be real. Stop. You know I don't want that. Congrats in advance. You're happy now. Oh See you. <laughs> Mom, I honestly cannot believe that you came back here to talk about a wife. I already made my stance clear on this matter to you. I do not need a wife. Can you at least accord me the respect as your mother? And listen to me. Mom, you know I always listen to you. Oh yes, I listen to you. It only becomes a problem when you begin to, you know, delve in, into my, 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 my personal life. Trying to influence my choices. Then it becomes a problem. But I, I, I listen to you. Son, I need to educate you on who a wife is. Oh no. A wife is of great importance to a family. A wife will take care of you at your old age. A wife will be your mother and father when your parents are gone. A wife will be your best friend when everybody have turned their back on you. The importance of a wife can never be overemphasized.
Mom, I'm working on something. Oh, stop fooling yourself with those words. Well, you have to believe me this time. I am working on something. All right, I'm heading out. Please make yourself comfortable. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too Not long. at all. You know what they say now, right? You don't keep a beautiful woman waiting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You it's look okay. good. Thank you, you too. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, you have a call? Yeah. Excuse me. It's okay. Okay, so I see that you you you, what, you didn't place orders yet. You're not taking anything. No, no, no. no. I was actually waiting for you so we could drink together. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> okay, how nice of you. So let's see. Uh, what would you like? Oh, okay. Calls coming through again. <laughs> not someone important. Just. Forget Why are you not taking that call? He's not someone important. The person keeps well. calling. Just forget about it. Very unimportant people don't keep calling. Just forget about it. He's not important. Same thing you're going to say to him when you're with him and my call comes through. Excuse me? He's still calling. Just this, forget about him. Uh, of course. I will forget about this. This is a terrible idea. I can't do this. Humphrey, wait! Humphrey, wait! It's not what you think. Oh, God. What's up, latest girl that is in love? How is the date going? My dear, it's not going nowhere at all. He just walked out on me. What? Why? My dear, today of all days, Chris decided to call. Eh? Out of the blues, I don't even know where he came from. And he didn't just come who was. He kept calling and calling. The queen suit. Annie. Eh? And why didn't you put that phone on silent? Or better still put it inside your handbag? How am I supposed to know that he will call today? Eh? Today of all days. Ooh. Eh? Hey, okay, what, what did Humphrey say before leaving? My dear, that's not what I'll be talking over the phone. We need to see and talk. And it's already late now. But you know what? Let's see first thing tomorrow morning, okay? Okay, that's fine. Hey! What kind of rubbish is this now? Eh? Trusted all of them. Look at her. 
Imagine the idiot. She was not taking my calls because I was seated there and her other boyfriend was calling. It's not important. Imagine the nonsense. So, so the day I call and she's with the other guy, she'll also tell the other guy that I am not important. Humphrey will not be important. When I say I have issues with commitment, they say something is wrong with me. They're all the same, not to be trusted. Imagine, see the time of the day, I wasted my bloody time. For what? No, for what? Why, why, why did my mother not come, yes, come on this date with me? No, why did she not come on this date with me? Why? No, why did she not come on this date with me? To come see me waste my time. When I tell her that all women are the same, no, nobody cares to listen to me. See what just happened. Humphrey does not want to get married. Humphrey doesn't want to get committed. Now, I make an effort and see what happens. Bloody nuisance. She's lucky I, 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 I was calm. Got myself together. I would have slapped her. I'm sitting down with her. And that man is calling. Nonsense. And they want me to settle down. I get into that nonsense. I get married and then my wife is cheating on me. And I, and I, and I stay there. I remain there. I live in agony. All, all in the name of uh, 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 marriage. Marriage, Babuoko. My love, she don't look happy. My love, there's a problem. What's the problem? Humphrey just walked out from the date. Why? It's a long story. It's okay. We have all the night to ourselves. So, sit, let's talk about it. Listen, listen, man. Let's let's drop this topic, all right? Anne is an infidel and I cannot have anything to do with her. Humphrey. What exactly did she do? Listen, in, in my in my years of interacting with women, I can tell you that I'm quite experienced. So when I see a cheating woman, I know. You haven't said anything. All right, well, if you must know. The day we went to the club, you know, the hookup night. Oh, yeah. We sat down, we're together. And a call came through. She refused to take her call. The call kept coming in. I was looking at her, I was looking at the phone. She refused to take the call. Don't you think she did that in order not to have divided attention away uh, with you? Oh, come on now, stop it. Don't, don't, don't say that. She did that to ward me off. You know, just avoid the call. I'm pretty sure she's going to say the same thing to that guy if she were to be with the guy and my call comes through. She's going to say the same thing to him. You know, that's how those girls play. That's what they do. I don't be too sure. I, I, I doubt if, Come if... on. I know her kind. I know her kind. Stop. Stop defending her. I know her kind. Uh, I'm, I'm short of words. I really don't know what, what, what to say again. Can't you give a second chance? Nope. I'm not interested. That's final. Listen. You may not like what I'm about to tell you, but I will say it anyways. Of course, you know I don't mean words. Annie, I blame you completely for what happened. I do. Lara, I will take the blame. But oh, please, you need to talk to this guy. Please, I'm in love with him. You need to see how I felt when I hugged this guy, Lara. His gentle touch nearly sent me to heaven. Please. Let me talk to him. Annie, you are moving so fast on this lane. I mean, you need to soft pedal. Lara, I'm only expressing how I feel. If I don't have this guy, I would die. You don't understand. <laughs> hey! 
joke of the century. Mm. I'm not joking, Lara. I love Humphrey. Humphrey means the whole world to me and I can do anything to have him. Please. Honey, you are sounding so desperate. And of course you know I hate desperation. Listen, most women who went under did so because they played the desperation card. Lara, please. I don't want you to do the same. Please. I am not desperate. I'm only telling you how I feel and I can do anything to have him all to myself. Please. Well, um, my husband has gone to talk to him. Let's see how it goes. Okay? Calm down. So, what do I offer you? Please. I'm not in the mood for that. Cheer up! I'm not having my appetite to eat anything or drink anything. Cheer up, girlfriend. You have to take something. Come on, water, mineral, anything. What do you want? Probably not now. Please, just let me be. Please. Okay. I feel I have made an excellent choice for myself. Thank you, Oh, Thank you. I'm sorry. Have you spoken to your son, the pilot, about this? The question should be, are you in? Sure, I am in. Ma, you said a lot about your son, and I think I love him already, and I want to father my kids. Mm. So would you love to consider marriage with him along the line? Marriage? No, Ma. I just need a decent man to father my kids. So when would you like to meet him? I'm free at the moment. Um, he's traveling to Hong Kong today or tomorrow. Then let's wait for him to return back. Fine. I'll let you know when it's back. Okay, well, I'd like to take my leave now. Okay. Thank you. I'll let you know when it's back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. She looks like someone who will get pregnant so fast. Your mom called me. She says she has been calling you. You are not picking up. Oh yeah, that's um, that's on purpose. Right, I'm flying a long distance route today and I need my head in the right place. I need to be happy. I don't want anything to spoil my mood. Ah, huh? yes, good. Um, but you know what? She calls again. Uh, tell her that I'm out of the country and when I return, I'll call back. Is that okay? Yes, sir. I will stay polite. See you when I return. Yes, right, sir. All right. Stay polite. But she told me I handle her better than the husband. And she pays good money too. But why is the man finally showing his face? Why?
My name is Jeremy. Who is calling, please? Hello? Hello? Honey? Yes, love. Did, did someone call me? Oh, yes, sure. Who? I don't know. The person did not pick the call. You know, maybe the person can call me back when he or she sees my missed call. Okay? Why not go to the kitchen with the phone in case the person returned the call? No, my love. I will get distracted. You know, aside not being advisable to take calls in the kitchen, I don't want to get carried away and then put much pepper into your food. Okay? The call in fact I have call Alright, baby. Mm -hmm. I love you, honey. Okay. Hi baby, baby I'm sorry, I'm sorry I didn't pick my husband was with the phone when you called. Oh, I know, I know, I thought as much. So, are we still spending the night together? Yes dear, we are. That's baby, baby. So, what time are you coming out? I, I, I can't say for now but I'll keep you posted. It's okay. <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be expecting your call, you know. Okay, sure. You hear from me.
Don't keep the ladies waiting. I'm not afraid to just stay with the ladies. I'm not afraid to just stay with the ladies. I'm not afraid to just stay with the ladies. I'm not afraid to just stay with Yeah, first, um, you're welcome to my home. You just make yourself comfortable. No, your house is cute. Thank you, my God. This place is fine. Thank you so much. Is his number not connecting? Or did he block me? No, I don't think so. What do I do now? What is all this? Nice. <laughs> Thank you, darling. 
of course, I married the best cook. Hi, Christy. This one you're calling me today. Are you back in the country? Whoa! Congratulations! I hope she's as beautiful as the mother. Oh, my dear, if not that my husband is at home, I would have come spend some days with you and the baby. But he is here. Mm hmm. My husband is here. Let me say congratulations to her. The baby is crying. She's attending to the baby. It will take me more than 10 seconds to say congratulations to her. Are you sure you want to do this? Why ask such question? Okay. Um... Hold on. <laughs> Humphrey, my man. Okay. Which part of the world are you right now? Hong Kong? Hey, <laughs> that's my man. <laughs> okay, that's okay. How long are you gonna stay there? That's okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So. Bad I trust you die. <laughs> I'm sure that Mbugu was there, that was why she played that game. A bookie. Jared, I don't know why you are flaring up as if I've made an invalid point. You're talking nonsense. You're not making any point. And I'm highly disappointed in you. You are disappointed in me because I'm telling you the truth. What useless truth? Tell me what nonsense truth. Listen, Millicent. You're insulting me because I'm putting up with you, right? I am doing this because I love you. 
And let me remind you, I am here because of the proximity to my business, nothing else. And I've been trying so hard to know the exact business you are into. You told me you are a contractor, but there is nothing that suggests that you are a contractor. Melissa, don't just open up and tell me you're tired of keeping me here. Tell me! And I'll go to my house and I'll come back! Tell me! You are employing the tools of sentiment to weaken me, right? I now know that the other thing that my friends have been saying is what you are into. Your friends told you about the cash. They told you nonsense! What did they tell you? What are you talking about? That you are going out with married women just to have money. And you know it's not right! Sentimentally naive. Excuse me. Gerald, I know you will come back. And we will finish this discussion. I know you will come back. Rubbish. You will come back here. Where is my customer? Uh, that's her. Come now. Don't worry about from her. Eh? Hey. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, Uncle Pilot, it's been long you visited our stand. Yes, uh, that's because I travel all the time. Oh, I see. Uh, Welcome, like right sir. now, I'm just returning from my trip. Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. So let me have my usual. Eh? Okay, let me get them. Time. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, do you have bananas in here for me? Uh, but I thought you don't like those, sir. Oh, let me quickly get that. Uh, yeah, it's for my mom, actually. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want cold drink. We have very chewy water. Next time. Okay, sir. Merci, merci. Ah, oh, this is really nice. <laughs> uh, thank you. Okay, um, let's see. It's what just three five, sir. I know, I know. There you go. Acapella, this is five thousand. It's just three five. I know. Keep the change. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, Acapella. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir.
Hello, baby. Baby, I'm sorry. You know, my husband has been home all this while and his job is outside the state. But not to worry, he has a job in Abuja this weekend that will last for three weeks. Yes, my love, we will. Yes, we will, starting from this weekend, okay? Um, Splendid Hotel will be fine. Okay, baby. You know, I can't wait to have you inside of me so that you can rock me like a horse. <laughs> okay, baby, I have to go now before my husband starts looking for me. Okay, bye. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who is this? It's me, Ijoma. What do you want? I know you're a well traveled man who will not judge people without giving them audience. Please, just give me a few seconds to explain some things to you. Explain what? Listen, if I see you here, if I see you in this house, You'll be responsible for whatever happens to you. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? It, it wasn't... Hello? Hello? Why does he look so calm? But at the same time, very complicated. I won't pick him my call anymore. Millie. Millie, I. I don't know, but I'm surprised. I left your house the other day like a madman. You didn't even bother to call to me if I got home safely or anything happened to me. That's unfair now. That is my problem with you. You act childish at every serious matter. Me childish. Me act childish. That's a polite insult. And I don't like it. Gerard, I'm concerned about your future as a man. You're not thinking about your life and it bothers me. And each time I bring up the topic, you flare up. You don't discuss my future with me. You don't. All you do is at every given opportunity, you investigate me, you interrogate me, Ibonyeke. Anyway, my friend who manages the airport said that there is vacancy at the airport. Hmm? If you apply, I will influence you to get a job. Really? So, what's the job description? Actually, you will not be the one to be doing the job. Okay. The job will be contracted to you. Hmm. Then you will hire people that will be cleaning the restroom. I beg your pardon. Cleaning what? Cleaning the restroom at the airport. My, oh my. 
Me? No, 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 no. Have you reduced me down to that ebb? Me? To become a janitorial? God damn it. Listen, listen, let me ask you something. If paraventure your friends ask you, what, what does your friend do? What would you tell them? Gerard, it boils down to the same thing I've been saying. Whenever I'm trying to help you, you flare up. Is it not better than staying at home doing doing nothing? You don't stop. Cutting. Besides, I explained this job to you. You're not actually the one going to do it. You employ people. You explained the job to me. That will be cleaning. God damn. I didn't say you will be cleaning. You will employ people that will be cleaning the restroom. How did that idea even get into your head? Whether you explain or you do not explain, the bottom line is I will become a janitorial. I don't understand. Millie, I don't more. I don't understand me. Let me shock you. Let me shock you. I am working on something very, very huge. Very huge. And it will shock you. It will shock you when it matures. Mark my words. Mark my words. Polo, mm -hmm. when are we going to see those gays again? My friend, will you lower your voice? Ah. I know a guy is inside, but he cannot hear us. So, when are they coming again? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I got travel, they will come again. Hi! I had fun that day. Why won't you? That girl, that girl is fire dancer. Yeah. Machine. I saw the way you were <laughs> dancing my poker. I never knew you were good in dancing my poker. Don't mind me after it was. <laughs> Those girls, eh? Fire. Yeah. You see that your small one, eh? Yeah. That one looks like a witch. Hey, well, like a that one is witch. Hey. witch. Did you see the way she was holding my screw to me? Are you serious? <laughs> so, like, like radio, wireless radio. <laughs> if I name pen, name pen, ah. I never just says. <laughs> so, it's like a guy is calling you. Mama, mama! Hi! Guess. How are you, son? This is Christabel. She's a model by profession. She's a pretty girl. Thank you, ma'am. I cannot test. She is well mannered. Christabel, that's my son, Humphrey. He's a pilot. Okay. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, I'll sit down. Let's go straight to business. Christabel here, I have discussed with her. We discussed at length. She has agreed to bear you as many children as you want. To bear you children and walk away. I'm sorry, ma'am. Not just any number of children. I propose three. He will go with two while I go with one. And that one must be female. <laughs> so, son, what do you say? Mom, let, let me talk to you. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. Take it easy. Ani, I don't believe in truth, okay? So let's just forget about it. I cried from dream to reality. You cried? Yes. Ha. 
It was that bad? It was all. <clears throat> Anyways, um, you and I know that my chair record can never do anything to hurt me, okay? So I suggest you treat malaria so that you can stop all this your hallucination. Lara, the fact that I saw Gerard strangle you in my dream doesn't mean he would do that. It could mean a different thing. <clears throat> well, um, thanks for the advice. But I am assuring you once again that nothing bad will happen to me. I mean, what is the problem? Why are you drinking Panadol for my headache? Okay, stop already. Fine. I only care. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, please stop. Please. You still need to trade with caution. Honey, thanks for the advice, but please, can you just take a chill pill? Stop it. It's okay. If you say so. I said so. Anyways, <clears throat> any news about my Humphrey? Hey, honey, honey, you're obsessed. Come on, you can say that again. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I think Humphrey's out of the country. Yeah, because the last time he spoke with my husband, I think he mentioned being in um, Hong Kong. Yeah. Well, that's fine anyway. Yeah. Love a girl. Love a girl. Love a girl. I believe you know why I sent for you. It's your son. But if that is the case, ma'am, I will tell you that I do not have any good news for you. Have you made any effort to reconnect with him? So many times, ma'am. I have lost count on the number of times I tried. But it appears to me as if he has this natural hatred for me. Because the more I try, the more he, he declines. Really getting me frustrated. Based on your experience where you were living with him, do you think there's any possible means to get his attention again? With what I know of him, he is a man, a disciplined man who can never be controlled by his emotions. He can say to be a perfectionist because he can never indulge in anything without being very sure. A woman like you, with all the gift God has endowed you with, you don't underestimate the power of a woman. Ma'am, I am not underestimating my power as a woman. You just need to understand that we are up against a man who visibly lives above the emotion women invoke. He's not just interested. Are you going to give up? Look at him one more time. He's the exact kind of man you need. Just push harder. You will have him. I can only try this one more time because of you, ma'am. But you need to know that your son is a very difficult person. So difficult. Please don't give up. You can reconnect with him. And when it happens, it will be permanent.